Yo, what is going on guys? It's Bruin Steel here, and this is going to be my 2019 Pittsburgh Steelers schedule prediction for the 2019 season. I know I'm a little late. I know the schedule came out at some point, um, like a couple weeks ago, I believe, or I don't know. I don't remember the exact date, but this is going to be my 2019 prediction video. So, just my prediction of what record that we're going to get. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing be doing videos next season I'm not you know I'm kind of you know my hands are tied with work and stuff like that but this is gonna be my prediction video so I don't really usually use this format so I got a bunch of games here and the win and the loss I think I'm just kind of following sports center the way they do it is they just check a win or a loss so just want to go over our schedule so week one we have to travel to New England to face the defending champions, New England Patriots. That's going to be a tough one. Week 2, we home opener against the Seattle Seahawks. Week 3, uh, we travel to San Francisco, a long trip. Um, we have two home games against Cincinnati and Baltimore. And then we travel to Los Angeles. That's just back and forth. West. I can't imagine the players just going back and forth in the West Coast because as you can see here we have to go to San Francisco that's in the West Coast and then we have to go back to Pittsburgh and then we will have to go back to Los Angeles which is also in the West Coast so it's back and forth then we got our bye week then we have three straight home games against Miami the Colts and then the Rams and then two away games to our rivals Cleveland and Cincinnati and then we go back at home against the Browns again Wow, that's actually really, really extreme. Back-to-back -back games against the Browns. Let's go. And then we have to go all the way to Arizona. And then we play the Bills back at home. And then we finish the season with two road games against the Jets and the Ravens. So let's get to it. First game. At New England Patriots. You know, people are saying that the Patriots obviously had bad picks during the draft. But I, I, honestly, the Patriots always own us. You know, we beat... The Patriots finally last season in our house, but the question is, can we beat the Patriots in their house? We haven't beaten the Patriots in their house since I don't remember that year, but I think it's going to be a really, really close game. I think we're good enough of a team, you know, I will say this, we're going to have a little, little trouble in my opinion without Antonio Brown. Now that he's gone, Levon Bell now is gone, so the question is, can we keep up with the Patriots now, you know? All we can do is rely on Ben Rothberger. He extended his own um, three-year contract deal, and Juju Schuster is the number one wide receiver to look at. And honestly, I think it's going to be a tight game, but I I feel like the Patriots, they own us. They own us in their building, and they're going to own us again. So I think that's a loss. So I'm going to go ahead and give us a loss. Let me see. What the hell? I'm gonna give us loss here. I I, I I think I think that's just what it is. So I'm giving us a loss to the England Patriots. So that's gonna give us a 0-1 record right there. Um, sorry for the small typing thing. I don't know why it's doing that. I wish it's like auto, but but anyways, the Seattle Seahawks. They're a tough team. You know, people saying Seattle, Russell Wilson, I I, I think, you know, I, I, honestly, I think Seattle is going to put up a fight. I honestly think this is going to be one of the hardest starts that we've ever been. I think Seattle gets us. I think Seattle comes into our house and beats us. I, I'm sorry if people disagree with me, but I think we take a loss here. I, I just feel I just feel like Russell Wilson can, you know, give us problems and stuff like that. So I think we start 0-2. At at San Francisco. Here's the deal. San Francisco sucks. There's there's no way we're losing to San Francisco. I think San Francisco I think we're gonna blow San Francisco out. So I am giving our first win on the road against San Fran. So, I think that is a win right there. That is a win. I think San Fran, I think we come on, um, come on, come up on top with a win. 
And that will be our first win of the season. So, 1 and 2. Versus Cincinnati Bengals. This is, it's always, you know, it's always crazy. You know, here's the thing about Cincinnati Bengals. Scott, finally, you bitches, got rid of Vontaze Perfect. And, um, you know, it's crazy because Vontaze Perfect is actually at, in, with, will be teammates with Antonio Brown. And, you know, finally, you guys got rid of Marvin Lewis. That bitch should have been gone after you guys clapped against us. You know, and... My question is, can you guys keep up with this new coach of yours? And I think we're going to beat you. I think we're going to beat you guys at home. Do I think it's going to be a close game? Yes, I do. I think it's going to be a close game. And um, I think the Steelers will come up with a win. So, uh, it's giving me a freaking, are you kidding me? Uh, it's giving me a date, really? Oh my god, it's giving me a date! What the fuck? Uh stable. No, 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 no. Uh, whatever about the record. But I'm gonna just keep track in a post in or something. But, we are 2-2 two and two right now. So, we come back at home and we play Baltimore. So, we always have great fights with Baltimore. So I think I think it's going to be a close one here. I think um, we come up on top. I think we're probably going to split with Baltimore this year. Um, but I'm giving us, <coughs> excuse me, I'm giving us the win. I'm giving us the win over Baltimore at home. So we are going to be three and two. So we're gonna after our own two store. I believe we're gonna have a three, three wins in a row. At Los Angeles Chargers, this is gonna be tough because you know the Chargers always play hard. We had a little trouble at the Chargers, but for some reason we beat them with Michael Vick a couple years ago, and they beat us in our home. I think that's a loss. I think the Chargers come out playing. And I think they're going to beat us. This is a no-brainer, but um, I honestly think the um, Chargers are going to be absolutely ridiculous next year. Um, so I think we're going to go 3-3. Three and three. Um, That's six games before our bye week. So wait, let me double check. I, I, I have... Um, so yes, week seven is our bye. I think we're going to go 3-3 three three before the bye. Um, so, next game, before, after I buy, I think we win against Miami. I think we can handle them easily, so I'm going to give us a W here. I think that's a win right there. I, I honestly think that's a win right there. So, 4-3 and three after the buy. Um, versus the Colts, no doubt. I think we're going to win that. We always win the Colts. We have destroyed the Colts multiple times at home. So I am giving us that a win right there. That's a win right there. That's a win. Um, we go home and face the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams were just on fire last year. Do you see? I, I honestly think, I honestly think that we can beat, we, we can beat them, but I think the Rams come up clutch. I think they maybe a last second field goal. So I think we lose. Um, let me see here. Wait a second. So how many wins? One, two, three, four, five. I have so it would be five and three. I think the Rams get us. I think that's a loss for us. I think the Rams are going to be good. The last year they just went on this winning streak. It's, it was just absolute insane. Um, I think they get us, so I am giving us a loss here. At Cleveland, I think I think we beat Cleveland. I think we're going to owe Cleveland again next year, so I'm giving us a win there. Cleveland is going to collapse. Uh, the question is, is there can they do anything with their new quarterback? Like, I, I don't know, but I think we're going to win a close one in Cleveland. I'm giving us a win at Cincinnati. A couple of times we played at Cincinnati, we almost choked. 
Aki Zay choke. So like I was saying with Cincinnati, um, they always seem to find a way to lose. When we go into Cincinnati, they, they, they start with so much momentum and they just they just choke so hard. Do I think um do I think we can beat them? I think we can beat them. So I'm giving us a W a win. And I think we do sweep the Cincinnati Bengals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven and four losses. So I, I so far it's seven and four. Versus Cleveland. I think we beat them. I think we just gonna own Cleveland in Heinz Field. I think I, I think we can do it. You know, they always give us trouble kind of, but I, I look the Cleveland Browns are like on a rebuild, but I, I got us um I got us winning at home, sweeping the Cleveland Browns. Um so next game is at the Arizona Cardinals. Um I'm not sure what I think about this game. Honestly, I I can see us, you know, winning this game. Arizona's gotten some weapons uh, during the draft. You know, honestly, you know, this is what I think. I honestly, they might beat us, but I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna have a good win win um streak at the end of the season. I think um, we can do it. So we're I'm giving us a win there. So we'll be nine and four. Nine and four. Buffalo. That's a win. I I have a strange feeling we're gonna beat Buffalo. I'm giving us a win there. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be an interesting game. You know, it's gonna be interesting. But I think I think the I think the Steelers come up on the top. I'm getting my boys for this one. Alright, at the New York Jets. Honestly. I don't know. It's going to be an interesting matchup. I think we beat New York. So I'm going to give us a win there. I, I think there's going to be a good win streak at the end. You know, in December. So, but however... Last game at Baltimore Ravens. This is what I feel. If we need to beat Baltimore in a must-win situation, I don't know. We might have a bunch of losses like right here. I don't know. Either way, I I, I think Baltimore gets us at home. I think we split with Baltimore, but that's difficult because we have struggled in Baltimore. We have beaten Baltimore, the Ravens in Baltimore, but I think. They beat us, so I think this is a loss. I think we give up the last regular season game to them. Um, it could go both ways. Like I said, it's the last game. It could be a um, you know you, you you never know. It could be a you know. How would you say it could be a playoff? It it must be a must win to make the playoff game or something like that. You know what I mean? So. I don't know if we're going to lose this game. Um, with this amount of wins, if we lose to Baltimore, I feel like it wouldn't matter. But if we do lose these games, of course we need to win. So, I don't know. But, anyways, I got us going 11. Um, I got us going 11 and 5, to be honest. Um, I think it's a good prediction. Honestly, if we were to if we were to lose any of these games, I, I think we're gonna win all of them. Cincinnati is probably gonna give us trouble since they have dominated and then choked. I don't know if they're gonna choke again. Arizona might be a game that we might lose. Um, I do believe we can beat Buffalo and New York. Um, not sure about Arizona. I think we can beat Cleveland. Um, I, I think we will probably, if we lose any of those, I think it will be like two out of the um, six or something. So, but I have us going 11 and 5. That's my prediction. See you guys later.